Hello you guys, how are you? I hope you're keeping safe and well wherever you are. So today I'm doing a skincare reaction to Laura Harrier, who is this beautiful 31 year old model actress. Um, it's her skincare routine that she did, her skincare routine that cured her acne. Mm -hmm. And she did it for Beauty Secrets series with Vogue. So I'll put the link to the original video in the description for you to have a look at. But she's 31, she's stunning, wait till you see her. I think this girl, Laura Harrier, is absolutely the one to watch for two, this year, 2021. I think she's really going places. She's got 1 million followers on Instagram. Wow, that's so cool. And she's on the latest Hollywood series on Netflix. So just saying, have a look at her. This girl knows what she's doing, I think. So let's see if she knows what she's doing with her skin. So before we go on, my name is Joni. Welcome to my channel, Joni Loves. Please, before we go on, hit that subscribe button and that bell. That would be so cool. So let's have a look at Laura. Hey guys, I'm Laura Harrier, and today I'm going to be walking you through my skincare routine and then an easy evening going out glam look. So last night I slept with this mask on. This is Cora Organics Noni Glow Sleeping Mask. Now that it's the morning, I'm going to wash everything off and start my skincare. To remove my mask that I have on right now, I'm going to use this little muslin cloth. These I really like to use on my face. I just keep a whole stack of them in my bathroom because I feel like washcloths and towels kind of scratch my face a little bit. And also you probably aren't switching out your towel every single time that you're using it. Um, so it just feels a little cleaner and softer. Well, she is stunning, isn't she? So a couple of things there. I can see on her skin a bit of pigmentation. And I did check out, I think there's two spots on her chin as well. Um, so I can see everything. I can see everything. <laughs> or I notice everything about someone's skin. So that's what we're going to have a look at. Um, she will be prone to pigmentation with her skin colouring. Women of colour have got that issue, unfortunately. Um, a scratch, a niche or a bite will affect and can give um, a bit of pigmentation going on. So let's have a look and see what she's using that's helping that. I do like the muslin cloth idea to take her mask off. If you're living in an area like Scotland that's got soft water, I prefer face cloths if I'm honest. But the face cloths are nice and soft here because we've got soft water. Makes sense, right? <laughs> so I think it depends where you are in the world and what kind of water you've got. Um, the muslin cloth, if I use it on my skin here in Scotland, it's quite scratchy, itchy. And I don't like them used here, but... Listen, I quite like the mask being taken off with the cloth. It's helping to take more dead skin cells off, which is good, a good thing. So let's have a look at Cora Organics that she's using, the sleeping mask. I do like sleeping with a mask on myself. And I'm talking about the rejuvenating kind, anti-aging. This Cora Organics, I do quite like this brand, I have to say, because it's free of sulfates and parabens and synthetic fragrance. Very good, Cora Organics. Um, I do like it, sits well with me. I'm looking at all the ingredients. It's got aloe vera, first number one ingredient, skin soothing plant extract. Number two is glycerin. I love that, humectant. Number three, skin replenishing cranberry seed oil. Great. And then skin softening coconut, number four. And then another moisturizer, number five. And then it's got the noni fruit extract. This is this noni fruit that you get in Australia and it's a skin soothing antioxidant. And that run, that noni fruit extract runs all through the, the Cora Organic range. And this range was founded by Miranda Kerr, the model. So maybe they're pals because of the modeling world. Just saying. <laughs> maybe she got this as a freebie. <laughs> anyway, what I, I like all that. So the top, you know, I'm looking at it truthfully, top ingredient, eight ingredients are really good. I'm always saying to look at the ingredient list and, you know, look at the, what's number one, two, three, four. And really the top 10 ingredients will give you an idea of what this is doing to the skin for any product. Always look at the ingredient list, you know, and check what's number one ingredient because there's more percentage of that, higher percentage of that in the product. And these eight ingredients are all about moisturising and antioxidant. So for me, that's pretty cool. And sleeping with this on overnight, yeah, I do like that idea. Only thing, <laughs> I knew there was something, right? Only thing I'm not keen on is that they're still using a little bit of alcohol and volatile essential oils, but they're at the bottom of this ingredient list. So they really would be 
you know, that aggravating, but someone with sensitive skin has to be careful with volatile essential oils and alcohol. But I do like that mask. I would give it the thumbs up and I would try it. Definitely. I do like it. So here we go. What's next? Next, I'm going to do my cleanser. I kind of tried to do like a little face massage when I washed it and do everything up because I was told that that helps to drain your face and I'm all into like lymphatic drainage. I feel like it depuffs everything. So I kind of just try and like work it all up like this. So a few years ago, I got really bad cysts. So I couldn't see what, what the cleanser was that she was using. It didn't mention the cleanser um, and I think it's it's fine what she's doing massaging and what I do like is you taking time with your cleanser. People think that cleansers don't do much but they do, they do, especially if they're cleansers with good ingredients in them and like AHAs or antioxidants where they're really having an effect on your skin. So I really do like that she's taking time to do her cleanser and I did again like the fact that she took it off with the muslin cloth. I, I did like that and I think that's good for her. Um, so let's let I do love her, that brown bathrobe that she's wearing with the gold jewellery. She's just stunning, stunning looking woman. She really is. Bad cystic acne all over my forehead. And I think it was just hormonal and I was traveling a ton and I was probably stressed and I just broke out so terribly and I've never experienced that. It sucked. It was really alarming and it was upsetting and I had dealt with the acne really till my late 20s. So that um, really forced me to get even more into skincare and do a lot of research and figure out how to balance what's happening on my face. Next, I'm going to do... So she was just talking that she had, she suffered from cystic acne and that is definitely hormonal. You know, acne is mainly caused and women, women unfortunately, are more prone to it than men, but it is a hormonal thing. You can get it at puberty, you can get it later on as adult acne. Um, and I can empathise that. I had acne too and it's a nightmare, a nightmare. And it makes you always think, well, I need to be really careful with my skin and that. I maybe think she's a bit like that. She maybe is over careful or maybe doing stuff like that, thinking she's still going to get the acne back. And that, that's how it leaves you, especially she had it in her 20s and so did I. Not good, not good. Um, she said she was traveling though, so you don't, I don't know what she was using on her skin, what could have been more aggravating um, that she could have been doing to it. So it could be lifestyle traveling that was really hampering the, the healing effect or trying to get the acne under control. So I do empathize with her, really not good when you've got acne. Do my toner and this is P50. It's awesome, it doesn't smell great, but it's worth it. Take two and I get them wet first to, to dilute it because it can be really strong. So I like to dilute it so it doesn't really burn my skin. So I have my wet cotton pads. And you always wanna do it up. So I start with my neck and I just blot everything going up my face. So this is my eye cream. Mm, I'm, I'm going to talk to you about this Bangalogique Recherche Lotion P50. I've talked about this before and I know there are people out there that are going to go, oh really Joan? But honestly, I don't like this product. I do not like it. Um, you know, this, you've got to be careful with this if you've got dry, sensitive or dehydrated skin, even normal skin. That um, Recherche Biologique Recherche Lotion P50 has got phenol in it. I've talked about it before at length, but it's not good um, because this phenol that it's got in it, P-H-E-N-O-L, it's the second ingredient, but it brings down the skin. It's got a pH of 3.5, and this is what I'm trying to get at. Skin is happy, acidic at 5.5, um, right? And this is bringing it down lower, um, used here at a pH of 3.5. I don't like that. I think you've got to be really be very, very careful because that will have a really exfoliating effect. It will dry skin out, I'm telling you. So I'm not keen on this. Um, it's also got, you know, the only two good ingredients that I'm seeing here, that I, or three, I, I quite like glycerine's number, um, one ingredient, and niacinamide, you know, superstar, 
is number three, but it's got fennel and it's got vinegar and it's got sulfur. These things will definitely aggravate skin, okay? And long-term use of these will definitely aggravate skin. I don't like it. Um, would I advocate it okay to be used um, if you've got oily, very oily skin for a short time? Maybe, maybe, but you have to be careful long-term use of anything that's going to dry the skin out because the skin will fight back and eventually it'll push out more oil. So be careful about this. Mm -hmm. No, that's a, thumb, a thumbs down for me, that P50 lotion. Cream. This is Clarins Total Eye Lift and I really love this stuff. I've been using it for a few months and I see a huge difference in the circles under my eyes and the darkness and it feels like it's opening up the whole area and getting rid of little, you know, fine lines and wrinkles that were there. So you just want to press here. This is placenta serum. All right, so the Clarins Total Eye Lift Cream. Mm -hmm. I did quite like the way she put it on, you know, patting it round gently on this orbital bone. I did like that. You know, you can put your eye cream round here, just a dot. The trick, the trick is use less is more with eye cream, a split pea size. And I do like the ring finger. It tapped in with the ring finger. I do very gently. I do. I like that. So I quite like the way she did it. I did like that. Clarins Total Eye Lift Cream. It's 58 quid for 100 mil. Um, it's old fashioned, Clarins. I'm just saying, I'm surprised she's using it, a young woman like Laura. Um, I'm surprised she's using that Clarence Total Eye Lift. It's old fashioned. It's been going since 1954. And I find it's a bit overhyped. I have to say though, the top nine ingredients in this, yes, they're all humectants, moisturizers, and I do like that and they're hydrating. So that's great for this eye area to keep it, but it doesn't do all the stuff. This one, Total Lie Lift will not do all the stuff this formulation actually thinks it's doing. No, <laughs> it will keep it moisturised, so I'm happy that she's using an eye cream. I have to say, everybody should be using an eye cream in their 30s. So clap, 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 but no, it's also got perfume in it and it's got alcohol in it too. Right, it's a bit of an old fashioned formulation for me, but it's okay, it's okay. So I'm just happy she's using an eye cream. Um, but I'm just, I'm not going to give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm going to just say it's okay. <laughs> so I just take a few drops and I put it. I am going to do this. I as this is her putting on the Biologique. Again, we've got the Biologique or Cherche. Placenta repairing serum, mm -hmm. 135 quid for 30 mil. They know how to change and ch charge this brand, don't they? 135 quid. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you, she's used that serum and she's put the dropper up there on her, her face like that. I, that is not the way to do this. No. <laughs> don't let the dropper touch your skin. I don't like that. Um, I don't, right? Um, put the dropper, put some into your hand. The palm of your hand and you know do it that way you drop it into the drops into your hand and then put it on and um, but put it straight onto the face and i'm not sure i like that no 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 and um, always think as well just a few drops of these kind of things is enough okay again just a few drops three to three drops should be enough and um, i'm not keen on this one because it's oh, it's not got a lot of ingredients only get three but it's got placenta protein from animals it's got bovine placenta i believe so i've checked it several times and i'm not keen on this because um i don't like using any kind of animal placenta but if that doesn't bother you you know using placenta on the skin like that in this kind of refined way is hydrating to the skin um, it is repairing. I do think all of that, it, and it does definitely add get water, attract water into the skin. But I'm just not keen on bovine placenta being used. There's other ones out there that are not using animal placenta. Just saying, you know how I feel about animals. So not not. It, it says a lot of things. It does this, you know, but not. You know, it, it's meant to be ideal for post acne scarring. I do think placenta is great for, for doing a number of things. Um, Bioplacenta, meaning that, you know, you can get ones that are just plant-based placentas. They're, they're, mimicking, um, they're mimicking placenta and they will definitely be good for skin. But, you know, don't 
don't go there if it's been made from animals. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to do this IS Clinical Prokio. And I really love this stuff. I love this brand. I've been using it for years. I just take a few drops in the palm of my hand. My so that's funny. She's using IS Clinical Pro Heal Serum on top of the Biologique Recherche Planta. And she did it the right way. She did. She put it into her hand and then took it from her hand. So that's funny, isn't it? That she's doing it the right way with the second serum, but not the first. Mm -hmm. And this one's not cheap either, but I do like IS Clinical. Um, usually I do like some of their stuff. They've got a couple of good things in it. In the range, I mean. This one is 30 mil for 122 quid. So it's slightly cheaper than the last one. But IS Clinical, they have got a couple of good, good products. So one of their eye creams, I think it is, I really like. But this product, okay, this is not helpful for skin at all. God, what am I finding? Am I not liking any of these products? No, this one has got azorbic acid, which is fine. Number one um, vitamin C, number one ingredient. But it's got alcohol denatured alcohol is number three so that's really bad alcohol denatured is definitely drying to the skin so she's used a drying thing already with the recherche um p50 lotion then she's using this as well you know it's all sort of going up against each other here it's not it's not making a lot of sense to me um that she's using this now the so alcohol denatured no i would steer clear of this a hundred percent i don't think it's helpful for any skin at all having alcohol denatured especially number three in the ingredient list no 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 not like you not like it has got vitamin e in it this one which is good it's got glycerin in it and it's got retinol right down at the bottom but to have alcohol denatured at the top three no nah, i'm not going to give this a thumbs up i'm not you know, you've got to watch what you use on your skin. Any skin type has got to watch. I'm always thinking you have to treat your skin. Everybody should treat their skin as sensitive. Think of your skin as sensitive and do not use anything at all. Any ingredient that's going to aggravate it, always be careful of that. The issue for me is I think Laura is still feeling that oily, acne skin in her head and treating her skin a bit like that. And that's not what you should do now. Now that she's 31, I wouldn't be using that. So that product is definitely IS Clinical Pro Heal Serum Advanced Plus. It's getting a thumbs down just because it's got that denatured alcohol as number three ingredient. So I hope someone knows IS Clinical and can tell them. <gasps> my last step in my skincare routine is sunscreen. You gotta wear sunscreen, it's really important. I wear this every day and I like this, it's control corrective. I do this just as my moisturizer for daytime and then at night I'll wear a heavier moisturizer but during the day I just do this. As a woman of color it's so hard to find sunscreen that doesn't make me look gray or ashy or leave a weird film on my face and it's crazy how difficult it is to find that honestly. So this brand doesn't do that at all as you can see it's just sheer and leaves you a bit glowy. So I've been using this one for years because it's the best that I've found. I like to... Right, I think we'll finish there with that. So Control Corrective Skincare um, Systems Oil-Free Sunscreen SPF 30. I do think that what she's saying is absolutely true. Women of colour, you don't want to have this white cast that a lot of the sunscreens will leave on your skin. That's why she likes this one because it doesn't it doesn't leave the white cast um, and I can see that it does make her skin look glowy. However, it's got three ingredients in it. One only is good. <laughs> so it's got zinc oxide, which is Joni's favourite. <laughs> Sunscreen ingredient. All mineral. Yep, yep, yep. But it's got octanoxate and octosylate in it. These two ingredients, octanoxate and octosylate, are under massive scrutiny just now. And they've currently banned these ingredients in sunscreens in Hawaii because they're not reef friendly. But you have to be very careful with these two ingredients now because they're under the scrutiny because there's a belief that they're potentially... Um, can enter the bloodstream in humans and they've been looked at because of this. I'm just putting that out there. I'm not telling you to definitely not use it. I don't know enough about it. I'm not in that research um, studio <laughs> finding out, but I, I would steer clear of them. And I've noticed 
um, in the shops recently in the supermarkets when I've been checking out things on the shelves. They are definitely putting Nivea and Supergoop for definite Nivea and Supergoop, they've got on it free of octanoxate now. So the companies are coming onto this and there's a lot of companies now not making products with these two ingredients. So there's must be something in it. Um, I wouldn't take the chance. Who needs to take the chance? No. So this is definitely a no for me, this, this product um, control corrective skincare. I'm going to tell you about one I do think you should look at. If you're a woman of colour, I do like the Super Goop range. I do. Um, Super Goop range, I've used it myself. But this one that they've got is really good. It's Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. It's oil-free, weightless and invisible. I'll put a link below in my um, description that you can see. It's reef friendly, which always sits well with Joni's heart. It's broad spectrum and it's water and sweat resistant. You know, who doesn't like that? So I would have a look at that Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF. Um, I really think it's great and it really, for women of colour and men of colour, it really is the way to go. It really is. Have a look at that and see what you think. So what did I think of Laura's, <laughs> Laura's product she was using? Well, as you saw <laughs> or heard, there's only one I liked and that was the first one, the Cora Organic Sleeping Mask. I, I thought that was the only one I liked. I didn't like the rest. I didn't think it was a great, you know, way she was doing things, using drying things that were going to maybe, she doesn't realise. You could use products that are drying and you don't realise, you think they're making your skin feel really super clean. They might be keeping away the acne. That's what you're thinking. But later on, these products can come back a little bit and haunt you. You know, the, the damage of using super drying things might not show up right away. You know, it might be months and months later, you think, God, what is happening to my skin? And skin is the living, the largest organ of your body. It's a living organ. It's going to chuck out more oil if it feels really dry. So remember all that stuff. Um, what I would have put in here, I think she's got a couple of good ideas here. The, the right idea was putting a sunscreen on. That will definitely help. The zinc oxide as well. If you look, if you're prone to acne, zinc oxide is a great ingredient because zinc oxide in a sunscreen heals spots. So it's really good to do that. So using a, a sunscreen with zinc oxide is a plus. Um, the eye lift cream, the Clarins eye lift cream. Yes, it was good she was using eye cream 100%. That's a bit moisturising. So maybe in the range she was using too. What would I What would I add to it? I would definitely be taking out the alcohol stuff. <laughs> that has got alcohol in it, the alcohol denature. I wouldn't be doing that. I wouldn't be toning your skin. I would keep it all nice and gentle. I do agree that sometimes if you get a sunscreen, you don't need a moisturiser on. If you're prone to breakouts, you know, maybe the sunscreen is just enough because it's, a, you know, a sunscreen moisturiser effect. I do think that's, I understand that. But literally, um, is there anything I would use? I think I would do something with um, niacinamide definitely in it and transexamic, transexam, I always get that wrong, transexamic acid. <laughs> oh, I always get that for our pigmentation. I would be thinking along those lines, but I think I would look at that rather than some of the ingredients that's in these products. So I hope that was interesting to you. Is there anything there that you've tried or are you going to say, oh, Joni, I've tried that and it was absolutely fine for me. Let me know in the comments below. It's always good to share and that's what it's all about, isn't it? We've got to grow from each other's experiences. So I hope that was good for you today. Have a fantastic week. Please make sure you share and like everything. That would be really cool. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.